How are you doing today? This is Vincent again from NewbieWebDesign.com, the best free web design resources for anyone who wants to build a web page, especially beginners. And today I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to change a background on a photo using the GIMP, a free open source graphic editor that anyone can use. I'm also going to be using Cam Studio, which is an open source program that anyone can download and use to make a video. Now I will be using two images, but before you start you always want to prepare the images by making them the same size. Now I've already done that, so let's get started. Okay, I have the GIMP open already along with the toolbox. And this is where I find the tools to edit my images. And I also have the layer box open which tells me how many layers I have. And right now you can see that it's blank. This is the work area of the GIMP where I will see the images that I'm working on. Now to get my images, I could go to File, Open an Image File, or I can drag and drop images into the GIMP. Now I like to drag and drop the images into the GIMP, and it doesn't really matter which image I drag first, but usually I want the first image to be the one I use as my background. So let's go ahead and drag that into the GIMP. And then I'm going to drag the top image I want into the GIMP. and there you have it. Okay now in the layer box I can see the position of my two images. This is the top layer or position and this is my image that I want to make sure is selected which it is because it's blue and then I'm going to go to layer transparency add an alpha channel and click Next, I want to go to the toolbox, double click on the eraser tool, select a circle, and I've selected circle size 11. I want to make sure my opacity is at 100 and my scale is at 10. Okay, now you can see the size of the eraser circle, which you can change by using the left and right bracket keys on your computer keyboard. So I can make the circle eraser area smaller and larger. Let's go ahead and do that. Left bracket key. I'm going to click on that. As you see, it gets smaller. Right bracket key. Click on that. It gets larger. So now we want to click on the mouse button and drag the circle over the area we want to erase. And as we are erasing, we want to release the left mouse button once in a while. You'll see why in a second. So let's go ahead and erase some of this top image. Okay, I just made a mistake, which I want to undo. Now I'm going to click the Control button and the Z button and undo my mistake. But what it will do is undo everything I erase from the beginning. Now I have to start all over. By releasing and holding the left mouse button once in a while as you're erasing, you won't have to go back too far. So let's go ahead and hit the, the Control Z keys. And now I'm back to the beginning. So let's start again. And let's go ahead and erase some of this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go down and to this little box down here and zoom in at 200%. And then I'm going to click on the left bracket button on my keyboard and make this smaller. And then I can go ahead and do a little more erasing as far as detail goes. I can even make it smaller. Go in here. And I'm not going to show you everything. We're going to go ahead and uh, skip forward a little bit to when, to when I'm done. Okay, this is what the image looks like once I'm done erasing everything. And as you see, I have a new background. So what I want to do now is go to File save as to desktop double click on this 
Make sure that I save it to a JPEG image. Click Save. Yes, I want to replace. This will pop up. I want to hit Save. And now my image is saved to my desktop. And uh, I want to show you one other thing before I'm done here. And uh, that is the zoom tool. So let's go to the toolbox, double click on the zoom tool. Then I want to click here, auto resize window. And if you remember before to uh, zoom in, I went down to this bottom area here and zoomed in like that. Now with the zoom tool, all I got to do is click on the image and it zooms in now we're at 200 percent or I can zoom out and I can do that by holding down the control key clicking on the image and now I'm back to 100 percent I just want to show you that can make things a little bit uh, easier for you okay so again, I want to thank you for watching. Visit NewbieWebDesign.com. There's a lot of free resources there for you, not just uh, graphic resources. And if you uh, enjoyed this uh, tutorial, it was helpful. Uh, go ahead and rate it for me on YouTube. And if you want to, subscribe to my channel because I'll be making more videos for you. And you have a good day, and thank you again for watching.